Are you enjoying yourselves? Is everything going fine? I think I'm the youngest over here and I'm being corrupted. So I'm, well, I'm well. clearly the <laughs> oldest. I, I feel like I should have my colostomy back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just feeling like an old bag, really. Uh, can I get you anything, though? I mean, is there anything? Can we get you something to eat, a drink, perhaps? Can you puree some food for me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll chop, I'll chop it up and feed it to you. That'd be tough. But would you like a drink? Would you like a drink? I'll go a vodka and tonic. Oh, yeah? look, if it's alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like an alcoholic lady. beverage. Would you like an al alcoholic beverage? I'd love a white wine for the lady. Well, it just so happens because uh, we have our cameras set up the road at Molly Bloom's, the pub up the corner, and uh, I'd like to see right now, if it's possible, to get a member of the general public to buy our guests a drink. So let's cross now live to Molly Bloom's and see how we go. Good evening, Molly Blooms. <laughs> can you can you hear me? Hello. Is anyone in there? Hello, Molly Blooms. I think the camera. You at the hello there. Hello, ladies. How are you? Hi. You can hear me. Is that all right? Yep. Okay. We might stroll on a bit further. I won't disturb you. I'll go talk to the gents. Excuse me, gentlemen, at the end of the bar. Good evening, mum. How are you? Sorry. How are you? How are you doing, eh, Fiend? <laughs> <laughs> I'm regretting this already. <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, my name's Rove. We're making a television studio up the road, and I have two lovely ladies here, two celebrity lovely ladies, and I was just wondering if you would... <laughs> One of them possibly has a beard. Uh, and I was just wondering, I was just wondering if you would be willing to buy them a drink and bring it up the road for us. Oh, for goodness sake. Good thing well, well, hang on, I'll tell you what, I'll get, the, I'll get the ladies to describe themselves for you. I'd like a glass of Irish cream, big boy. <laughs> I'll just go bourbon and coke. Uh, bourbon and coke? Yep. And, oh, um... Look, any, uh, oh God. A vodka, maybe. A double of anything. A, uh, a, uh, a double vodka and a, what was bourbon it? And bourbon and Coke. And a bourbon and Coke. Can I have an expletive sucking cowboy, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, make would you be, five. Would you be willing to, to, to buy two br drinks and bring them up the road for us, boys? Yes. Okay, so buy us a, a, a double shot of vodka and, uh, I've forgotten again, Brooke, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got a bourbon and Coke. A bourbon and Coke. I'm drunk myself. Will you do that for us, boys? Yes. Yeah. Okay, buy the drinks and uh, head up the road. Okay? Is it a taxi for us? Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> they're cheap though, Scots, aren't they? <laughs> Follow the camera, how's that? <laughs> okay, we'll, uh, we'll see how they go. We'll cross back after the break. We'll be back with more after this. <laughs> Okay, for those of you who have just joined us, we have two gentlemen who have got... They have, <laughs> they have their own drinks. We've, uh, we crossed live to the pub up the street and got these two gentlemen to buy some drinks for our guests, Judith Lucy and Brooke Satchwell, and they're returning live to the studio now. Uh, any minute now, they'll be joining us here on the main stage. They're taking their sweet time. <laughs> Someone breathalyzed them before they came in. No hurry, boys. No, I think they're here now. Uh, as they come through, clap them in. Here come the boys. They'll take forever to get here. <laughs> come through, boys. Hurry it up. Crack the whip. Crack the whip. How are we, gents? Very well, very well. What's your name? Fletch. And? Paul. Oh. Welcome to the show, boys. Now, do you have your, do you have your drinks? Yeah, I've heard things. Do you have the ones you brought? Lovely. Yeah, come, come, down, you brought. come down, come <laughs> down. I'm the woman with the beard. <laughs> <laughs> this is Judith. Judith, this is Fletch and Paul. How are you doing, Judith? Well, you. Can I say how impressed I was with your walking and drinking action? <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to give her the, uh, she, she has the double vodka, oh, I believe. That'll be mine. Thank you kindly. And this is the delightful uh, Brooke Satchwell at the end. Uh, Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> thank you. Cheers. So turn around, boys, and uh, please thank the boys, Fletch and Paul, for bringing a drink for a couple of ladies in need. And as a special, 
as a special thank you, boys, if you head back up to Molly Bloom's, there's uh, a drink tab behind the bar. Oh, for oh, goodness oh, sake, you shouldn't have bought us. Please. Okay, then we won't. Oh, oh, Cut the boys out. Bless you, Paul. Thanks, boys. All right. Now, the end. <laughs> Nothing like having two drunk guys exiting the studio to really upstage you, is it? <laughs> hey! All right, the door opens, right? I thought you walked through the wall. They're actually Scottish, right? Not Scottish. Oh. I've got to work on my Chinese accent. Boom. There's your dinner. Boom, there's your dinner.